Of this, the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk barreled its way to a surprise victory as our best four-wheel drive of 2014, dethroning its bigger brother, the Grand Cherokee from the Crown. This year, however, it faces some tough competition to retain that crown from a new breed of ute-based seven-seaters, the locally developed Ford Everest and the Toyota Fortuna, while Land Rover has thrown in a curveball with an equally capable but more luxurious-focused Discovery Sport. The Jeep is still an impressive car, and despite its suburban-based underpinnings, it will genuinely take you further off the beaten track than you'd ever expect. Thanks in part to its low range transmission, electronic driver aids, raised suspension and unique bodywork that allows for steeper approach and departure angles. Despite being the most affordable car in this contest, it is still well appointed with a decent spread of equipment. It is also comfortable on the road and easy to drive in the city. But in light of the new competition, the judges thought the Cherokee is better suited to weekend warriors rather than true cross country adventurers. With a lower tower capacity, a thirsty yet punchy V6 and Jeep's smaller rural service network. Similarly, the Land Rover Discovery Sport mixes car-like on-road manners with extremely capable off-road abilities and throws in a splash of luxury as well. It's a smart looking car with a clever interior, good features and most sporty on-road character of this bunch. But its turbo diesel four-cylinder, while energetic in the mid-range, is noisy and suffers from a bit of turbo lag under heavy acceleration. The Toyota Fortuna, on the other hand, offers the kind of ruggedness that will take you anywhere in this wide brown land which is not surprising considering it is essentially an SUV based on the popular Hilux Ute. With a strong 2.8 litre four cylinder turbo diesel and a traditional four wheel drive transmission, the Fortuna offers excellent off-road ability and the space of a family wagon with the renowned reliability and service network of the Japanese brand. However, it can't quite mask its Ute based underpinnings on the road with a more truck like character than its rivals. In the end, it was a close call between the Discovery Sport and the Fortuna for the runner up spot with the Toyota stealing the spot by just two points. And the winner of our best four-wheel drive for 2015 is the brand new Ford Everest. The key to this car's victory is the fact that it is genuinely a rugged all-rounder. Being based on the Ford Ranger that's already won our Ute category, there's no surprises that it comes out top in the four-wheel drives. With 4x4 ability for what is essentially a family seven seat wagon is pretty much benchmark stuff. It has a low range gearbox, it has a rear diff lock, it has multiple modes for sand, mud, snow. But what really impresses about this car is not just its off-road ability, but how comfortable it is in everyday use. While it does feel a little bit truck-like, it doesn't feel like it's a ute with a body on top. It's actually got a unique rear suspension system in it which makes it more refined on the road with really good levels of ride comfort. The steering is also well weighted. The 3.2 litre five cylinder engine is gutsy strong and the six speed automatic gearbox is really smooth. It makes this car absolutely livable in the day to day environment, but also out there when you want to get to the adventure stuff. The Everest also has the latest in infotainment systems with Ford Sync 2. More so, this car is the only one in its class that comes with the latest active safety aids. It has, first of all, active cruise control, which basically sets a distance to the car in front of you. That also opens up a box of tricks, such as forward collision alert warning, and more importantly, automatic emergency braking, which considering this car weighs two and a half tons, and in those emergency situations, it can't hide its weight, might actually come in handy. This car also showcases the future of the Australian car industry. It might be built in Thailand, but it's been developed and engineered right here by Ford's Australian division. Not that we have any sentimental aspect in the voting of our car of the year, but this does showcase the ingenuity and the modern thoughtfulness of the Australian car industry, particularly as it enters its twilight years as a manufacturer. <laughs>